Hello, Brenton with All of Octane here. In this video, I'm going to open up a mail call. So this is a vehicle I was waiting for for a little while. Uh, I do know, I think, what this one is as well. I received an email letting me know what it was. So let's go ahead and open it up. Sure enough, it is the RLC Boss Mustang, Boss Hoss. This thing is pretty cool. It is numbered, it's 30,000. I got 18,433, uh, but I'm gonna open it because that's what I do for you guys. There are some things I don't open. I know you guys know that, but this thing is just too cool. I am going to open it. I'm gonna put this with the rest of my clamshells. Clamshells are off camera over there. <laughs> There's a bunch of them right now. But there we go. Check out that card art. Spectacular. Awesome Spectra Flame Green. I don't really know if that has a specific color. It'll probably tell me here on back. So let's go through all of that makes sense. There are some Hot Wheels castings that are meant to live in infamy. And the Mustang Boss Hoss is definitely one of them. Based on the 1968 casting of the custom Mustang, the Boss Hoss entered the Hot Wheels world in 1970 and has undergone a few iterations since then. This version has all the design characteristics of the original with a large exposed engine, huge spoiler, louvered rear window, and chin spoiler up front. Side pipe exhaust and the large rear tires complete it. Graphics inspired by the 1968 Mustang GT California Special, so GTCS. Edition rests nicely on the olive Spectra Flame paint with a nod to RLC. Real Riders five spoke mags support the body while the chrome hubcaps and redline deco pair nicely with the chrome chassis and engine. Yeah, we know it's awesome. You know what's not awesome is just this. <sighs> There's a lot going on there. There's the spacing, like, I get it, I get it. I'm gonna have to show this to some of my, I, I know people in print and design and stuff like that, and I'm just really curious. Like, I know they have to have the trademarks and the copyrights and, and all of that jazz, but uh, just, there's so much going on. I feel like they could have cleaned it up a little bit. Because when you're saying some of this stuff, anyways, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Al, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> All right, Brenton, let's let's keep moving. So we've got the Mustang Boss Hoss. Let's open this thing up. And as you guys know, I will get some glamour shots here at the end of that as well. So I'm gonna try to see if I can slip that in there. Hopefully I don't cut myself, because yeah. Alright, so let's get that through. I think that should be enough to get through. And it was perfect even though they give you the window wow does this have the suspension on it wow that is like the original man okay that's fascinating it's the original type of axles with the little uh with the potential suspension yeah it does these these go up and down huh well that's cool let's see the engine also cool. I don't know if there's any licensed Mustang logo on this though, is there? It says Mustang Boss Hoss, but there is no other than like, well, I guess that you'd have the trademark with the triple tail lights and stuff. That's a great view of it right there. Good looking car. Kind of hard to see inside. It kind of if I feel like if Gas Monkey did a car, a Mustang, it would be like this. I don't know if you guys have been watching Gas Monkey, but there's a ton of cool giveaways he's doing. He's got some Ford Broncos. He's still working on the bus. He pulled some Chargers or Challengers the other day. That was pretty cool. So overall, really cool casting. And I am going to, again, get some glamour shots here at the end. But uh, let me know if you like this casting, what you think of it, the, with the hearkening back to the retroness of the original suspension and very much with the red line wheels. This is pretty sweet. I'm glad I was able to get one. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.